Well, legend may have it that black cats are bad luck, but legend never met Bob the Cat. Voiced by Simon Pegg in the new movie Luck, Bob finds himself in a pickle when the unluckiest girl in the world loses his lucky penny. Take a look. So, remember I told you I wanted good luck for my friend Hazel for her visit tomorrow? Well, guess what? After you left last night, I found some. That's right, I found an actual lucky penny. And what did I do? I flushed it down the toilet. You did what? You flushed my penny down the toilet? What did you do that for? You just talked. <gasps> <laughs> and Simon is with us now. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you, too. This is such a cute film. Um, and the filmmakers say that, you know, luck looks different all around the world. And yeah. especially in the case of black cats, which in Scotland, they're lucky. So do you know what it means when you see a black cat? I think it's like it, it's like a good omen. Like if you see a black cat elsewhere in the world, most places in the world, it's seen as being like the harbinger of something bad. Yeah. But in Scotland, for some reason, it's a good thing. So who knew? So I feel like you have an extra layer of luck for playing a Scottish black cat. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about Bob and the land of luck that he lives in. Set the story up for us. Well, yeah, the, it's, a, it's a beautiful film about uh, Sam, who you saw there, who's the sort of unluckiest girl in the world, and she finds herself transported into this incredible land where luck, both good and bad, is generated and distributed to humanity. And um, they go on this adventure to sort of locate this lucky penny. And they're reluctant friends at first. Bob is a very solitary cat. He doesn't really want friends. But you realize that he's actually a bit vulnerable. And as they become friends, you know, he starts to change for the good. And the whole thing really is about how if we put sort of good things out into the world, if we put love and kindness and friendship, we get it back. You yeah, know? And that's yeah. how we generate our own luck. Yeah, and it kind of examines this idea that you can't have good luck without bad luck, too. Does that ring true for you? 100%, because yeah. it, we wouldn't know what good luck was if we right. didn't have bad luck. If it's, it's same all the same. Dark yeah. and light. All those opposites need each other, you know? Yeah. So this was um, made during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and you got to do all the voiceover work. Did you do it from home? Did you go to a studio? I did. They, they would come to my house, and they would uh, sort of put together a, a, a studio uh, set up in a room in my house, which is Sam proof and then I would just swan over in my robe and do the job it was very Ideal. easy <laughs> but, I mean, do you feel like sometimes though when you're working you have to like get out of your home and like create an, an environment that yeah facilitates that or like was it challenging at all to do that from the bedroom to the well it was studio? okay because I, I, I have an office at home that I built like far far from the actual house which is where I go and I write and stuff this was a uh, I've got a little screening room where I watch movies with my kid and that was that's what became the studio and it was okay because I was on yeah. I was down the line with LA so it felt like I was you know kind of far away yeah well we know that you're actually a dog person how, how do you feel about cats and cats named <laughs> after people's names I like Bob I grew up with two <laughs> Siamese cats called Bonnie and Clyde so I am a very uh -huh. much, I was a cat person now I have three dogs I, I think you can be both in yeah this day I, and I'm age. both yeah, too I, I, I appreciate that or we have to talk about Mission Impossible yeah I mean, it's Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. It's going to be broken into two parts, mm. right? How does that play out? What can fans expect? I mean, just more absolute crazy action and story and character. I mean, Tom and McHugh, Chris McQuarrie, who's the director, are, are always really keen to make sure that there is, there's great character and great yeah. story at the heart of all these incredible stunts. In the trailer, if you watch this trailer that's on now, Tom actually jumps off a cliff on a motorbike at the end. And he did that for real. I was gonna say you didn't didn't join him in that crazy stunt. No. <laughs> but we can we expect you to do some stunts too. No. Yeah. <laughs> My job is to give him directions. That's Benji's job is to kind of like say go left, go right. Yeah, yeah. You well, know? that's a lot safer. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you're also part of another huge franchise, and that's Star Trek. They just announced that the next sequel is going to be coming out, right? Hopefully, I mean, we kind of know as much as everyone else. There's there's a script being written and. They want to make it. It's about getting us all together at the same time. Obviously, Chris Pine, yeah. Zoe Saldana, Carl Urban, John Cho, they're, they're all, all really busy people. Zach Quinto, you know, it's like, um, how do we all get in the same room? I'm going to be doing Mission Possible till next year sometime. So. Nice, keeping you busy. But as soon as they say jump, we'll say how high. Okay, good. Well, you're also um, filming a movie with Christopher Lloyd and Minnie Driver, and it is called Nandor Fodor and the Talking Mongoose. This is based on a true story. So yeah. um, my question is, Talking Mongoose? It's absolutely true. That, well, I, it's not true. That in, in, <laughs> in the 1930s, there was a family on the Isle of Man, which is an island between uh, Ireland and England, uh, who claimed that they lived with a talking mongoose called Jeff. <laughs> and um, 
it became such a thing, the people of, of the Isle of Man believed it so thoroughly that people started to go over to the island to investigate, including this uh, parapsychologist called Nandor Fodor. Oh my gosh. And, um, it was obviously fake, but because right. so many people believed it... It became a thing. There was a fight in Parliament about it. It's an incredible story. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Well, lots of things to watch you in, uh, but right now, Luck premieres on Apple TV Plus, Apple TV Plus, on Friday, August 5th, so don't miss it. It's a lot of fun. I got to watch it with my five-year-old, and she loved it. <laughs>